Now the next fight has a, li a little bit of sadness. Um, we were gonna see a rebound fight. I guess not a rebound fight because he won his last fight. Kevin Holland was gonna step in and fight Daniel Rodriguez at 170. Um, you might be asking, what? He's middleweight and long time, at least within the UFC, middleweight. But for a long time before that, he actually fought at welterweight. Um, but as of today, I believe, I think it was this morning, possibly yesterday morning, we ended up with an injury. Although I'm, my nose is going off thinking that he just wasn't going to end up making weight. And rather than upset the UFC brass on not making weight, Man, he's injured. Rats. I mean, as bad as that sounds, that's the smart thing to do. Because if you miss weight and you miss weight bad, the UFC has a tendency to either blackball you, uh, make you wait for another fight, or your next matchup is substantially harder than it was supposed to be to try to get you in a, a loss. So I think he backed out because of that. I was actually really excited, uh, him versus Dan Rodriguez. Um, his odds were a bit crazy. Uh, originally, he was supposed to be, uh, Kevin Hollis was supposed to be a minus 220 favorite over Daniel Rodriguez at, pl at the plus 180. Uh, I wouldn't have laid that because I think people were just, we were fans of Kevin Holland. as We made money on Kevin Holland. But I thought that people were just jumping on that he recently got a finish. Uh, I thought that fight was a little bit closer than the odds would have indicated. But now we are here with Daniel Rodriguez still on the fight card at the 170 fighting a Gabriel Green, who is a light weight. I uh, don't got much for you on Gabriel Green. I don't know much about him. His nickname's Gifted. He's 9-2 and two, pro MMA. He f has well, at least one fight in Bellator, two fights in Bellator, but he was more of a regional guy that get brought into Philip Picard, as Bellator would tend to do. I do not recognize his camp. I know nothing about this guy. There are no odds on it. Um, I would assume when there are odds... Daniel Rodriguez is going to be a massive, massive favorite. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and break the suspense and say my pick will be Daniel Rodriguez. And hopefully they, after this fight, after this quick finish, they could rebook the Kevin Holland fight for the future when everyone can make weight. Mike, what are your thoughts? Do you think that my idea of the miss weight possibility was, is way off? Do you think he's actually horribly injured? Kevin Allen, that is. Do you know anything about this Gabriel Green? And do you think Daniel Rodriguez just smashes? Yeah, I mean, I'm super sad that Kevin Holland isn't going to fight because he, he's super exciting when he does show up. So I, I thought this fight was going to be a banger, man. I, I really was kind of favoring the chance that the underdog Rodriguez, he's a southpaw, he strikes pretty well, and he, he you know, Hispanics uh, generally have really good gas tanks that you can count on and, and good chins. So I really thought it might have been a trouble situation for Holland. Um, but like you said, he's cutting weight, going down. He just had a fight. The injury thing is very very slim to none chances dude i it's so slim that's not even funny i mean what do you mean you're training what are we doing you're training I mean, you're not training bro your training camp's over bro you just had a huge training camp you just fought and won you won in like a minute i mean what, what do you need to do run on a treadmill and fucking no, that's it dude i mean I, I don't get it so like you said i think that you were more spot on with the fact that he was probably having trouble missing weight and that was the better excuse to not kill his uh stars or you know take the shine out of a star so but i think that daniel rodriguez is definitely going to roll here he's a southpaw like i said he's got a straight a front straight kick that's pretty good to keep the distance and then he crack you with a straight left so i, I like the kid i just uh, don't know if he's got enough experience you know to to see the kevin holland if he could beat kevin holland or higher he's definitely going to beat this kid that i don't even know who's this green is if you like this clip remember to like subscribe and comment we want to hear from you let's roll